Okay. Well, there's another problem, and that's endemic corruption. And your standard there sure. is founded by corruption issues. W what's your comment about all these uh, charges that he is re 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 uh, rewriting history, revisionist history? Well, well, didn't we rewrite history after EDSA? We did. Textbooks will prove. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know... Uh, I, I, I saw also some civics uh, textbooks na sino si ganito, ganito, uh, naming a past uh, political figure, one trying to be cutesy. Uh, I mean, uh, probably everyone tries to uh, uh, expound on uh, him, his or herself to, to bring out the best, no? But uh, everybody probably, we know, even Edsa, uh, tried to rewrite history and history will only be known, the truth of the betterment or, or worse uh, conditions will only be known after a passage of time when people have had the objectivity already necessary to review a particular political epoch or era in our uh, political development. I was talking to uh, Francis Fukuyama uh, personally uh, years ago, and he uh, he, he said that political short, constitutional shortcuts will not help this country. And then he said, but don't worry, you're still a young country. The British were killing each other for more than 800 years before they had constitutionalism. And we see what's happening in Europe and the Western countries now. So it's not only a Philippine uh, uh, problem, but it's worldwide, particularly in the information age. No? So we, Sorry. me, my stand is to build our institutions in a way which is realistic and a way which will promote our country's development, keeping into account our own values and our own quirks as, uh, as a multi multi-ethnic, multi-linguistic, multi-free uh, society, no? But, but the, uh, what do you do? You just gloss over uh, the hidden wealth, for example, of the market. Well, there are processes for uh, that. And, and I, I mean, I was lawyering for, for several of those charged with the hidden wealth. And, and uh, just to get from step one to step two, because uh, there, were there was evidence in some of the cases, but for 30 years, if uh, the prosecution did its job, there was credible evidence, then somebody had to go to jail. But they mm -hmm. did. But, but, but and, the, and, and, you know, uh, to substitute... But the fact that some money system, has been recovered, that some money has been recovered, definitely not all, but the fact that there was substantial money already recovered proves that there was theft and there was corruption. What do we do with that? Should we gloss over that, especially if... But what is the connection of the candidate uh, himself or herself to this? What is the extent of his participation well, in these uh, mechanisms? They haven't been able to prove it. Yes, but... Uh, and now these issues are being raised the, the, when there's an election. Uh, so let the people be the judge. But the fear is all of these investigations and prosecutorial processes will come to a halt if he becomes president. But there were 30 years of that. Uh, during the time of President Aquino, President Ramos, this never stopped, and then uh, President Arroyo. Uh, the, the PCGG was there for the longest period of time, but no, no conviction has been gotten by them. They even seconded prosecutors. But they, so you with, think, uh, yeah. with, with. Sandigan Bayan justices who were appointed by President Aquino but saw through the fairness of the processes and they, I mean they could have fast-tracked the cases but they did not on constitutional grounds. I was there because I was an assistant to Estelito Mendoza. But, but so, how do you explain the fact that we have recovered billions in legally declared ill-gotten wealth but we haven't convicted a single person who did the... Well, that's the fault of the prosecution. I was a defense lawyer the whole time. We did our job. They should do theirs.